Hi, I'm Jeremy Bullock, Boba Clap from Star Wars, and I go to yodanews.com. Hey everybody, Mark from yodasnews.com here, giving you a quick unboxing and review of this very special piece, uh, which is the Gentle Giant LTD Holiday Piece. As you guys know, they've been putting out a holiday piece for the last 10 years. Uh, first started out, uh, was just sent out to friends of Lucasfilm, friends of Gentle Giant, uh, promotions and things like that. And in the last couple of years, if you were a member of the Premium Guild, they also gave you a ch chance to purchase it. Very limited time you had to purchase it, but you could log on for, for $80, you could go ahead and purchase one. This particular one we just got today, um, this was a gift from Gentle Giant. It included is a really cool gift card from them which was very nice. And like I said, if you were part of the Premium Guild and you ordered it, you probably got this one about a week and a half ago. Um, the gifting one that you were received as part of the, the list that receives them got them, I guess, this week. Let me show you a look at the back. It is identical to, the gift version this year is identical to the version that you could purchase your own. Uh, the only exception is I don't believe the card came with the one from the P Premium Guild, but I did not order one from them, so I cannot say for sure. There's a nice message on the back. And the big secret, which most of you guys know by now, which we'll show you in a little bit, is that General Giant did something real special with this, and they included a mini carded Boba Fett, which is actually a fully articulated miniature mini version of the 12 inch jumbo version. Um, the Yoda itself is the same that had come out earlier, both with the orange and the brown snake. So we're going to go ahead and carefully open this up. We'll take a look at Yoda in his Santa outfit. And what most people have been asking us about is they want a better look at the little Boba and what he does. So we'll take a look at that as well. Check right back. Everybody went ahead and unpacked him. Uh, standard had the tape on the back. You go ahead and unpack it from this clamshell. Very easy to seal it back up. Uh, just a quick note, um, this is the same, I believe, as the orange snake one, because he has the uh, reddish, brownish eyes, I guess you could say. And there is what's inside his sack. We'll take a closer look at them in just a second. Uh, first, to give you a look at Yoda, he comes in his full red suit and hat. The hat is removable. I believe the jacket is removable, too, but I'm not going to mess around with it. Um, because it does have a nice little clip at the top. Our junior reviewer, Gabrielle, is helping with this part of the review. Really well done. Really nice addition to the line. And the hat stays on really nice, but if you want, you can take it off. Or pop it back on, and you can see real close, I'll show you there, by the neck, the connection for the coat. We're going to leave that as be. All right, now we're going to take a quick look at the little tiny contents of what was inside Santa's sack. First, we have the Han Solo statue mini box. And I'll try to get a close up, they're actually perfect copies of their boxes that the larger ones came in. They're empty, of course, but really, really cool idea. They have all the actual parts of them. Then, as you can see, there's also a C3PO and a Riez. And then the one that everyone's really talking about is the Boba Fett right up here. All right, good. It is an identical copy, and I'll do my best to focus on, as you can see, the size of it. He's maybe about two inches tall, but the clamshell and everything is exactly the same as the larger version that came out. Just miniature. And you can see it has, it has a clamshell and a little piece of tape at the top there. So for the final part of the review, I'm going to go ahead and carefully take him out, and then we'll give you a look at Mini Boba. All right, I went ahead and unpacked them completely. Uh, the easiest way to go ahead and get them unpacked, I think, is take a sharp knife to the three areas where the tape are, and that way you'll be able to open and close it back cleanly if you choose to. Here's a closer look at the card back, which is actually unpunched and identical to the large one. Same thick quality card stock, uh, just like the full size version. And a little insert, there is no twisty ties on him or anything like that. But as you can see, I didn't take it out yet, but there is the mini, mini blaster, as I like to call it. And that's enclosed in tape. And then here we have mini Boba Fett. And Gabby's going to give us a little help here. We'll show you that he is fully articulated. He has arm articulation on both arms. Both of his legs are articulated. And his head, you can also swivel back and forth. So he has the full five points of articulation, just in mini format. And in just a second, we're all going to give you a look at him. 
next to his big brother's look at the back, though. It's fantastic. It's actually identical to the larger version, uh, but it's maybe two inches tall. It's so cool. This item is available only through the purchase of the Yoda if you got it or as the gift. This is not going to be something you could purchase individually, and that's one of those special things that General Giant did for the collectors. And as you can see, there's comparison to his big brother, I guess you could say. And there you have the mini Boba Fett. We want to thank General Giant for this wonderful holiday gift. We really appreciate it, and we're really happy that they did something really cool uh, just for the collectors that had ordered this either through the Premier Guild or those who received it as a holiday gift. I want to thank everybody for checking out yodasnews.com. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year.